So, honestly, like, when I stepped on that scale and I saw I was 165, I was like, what? Because didn't, videos ago, I was 164.4, but like two videos before that, I was 168. So I'm gonna go with I lost three pounds. Like, I don't know, like, I mean, I've, look, I've changed. I didn't, I didn't eat and sleep this week at all whatsoever. Um, so I'm gonna go with three pounds weight loss. I don't know. But y'all, I'm going on a damn rant because honestly, I spent a long time making that video about my weight loss story and then, of course, I was uh, several minutes late uploading it. But when I did the thumbnail, the, th the thumbnail that I originally placed for that video didn't go through as it processed. And then that pissed me off. Because the thumbnail is a thing that you guys see. And the title is this thing you guys see. And that makes you guys click the videos. So that pissed me the hell off. Um, and that video didn't really do so well compared to my other videos. And I know you guys want to see apple cider vinegar videos. If you have any suggestions, please leave it in the comments below. But honestly, today I was like considering stop making daily videos. Like I was so considering that today and like I just fell down. Um, and I was just like, you know what? I don't think I'm gonna make daily videos anymore. You know, especially since that the video that I posted today, you're gonna see this video right now and tomorrow. Especially that video that I posted today about my weight loss story, like didn't do so well. So that like literally pissed me off. And at the same time, I don't get a lot of comments. Like I don't have a lot of engagement. Yes, I have like almost 35 subscribers, but at the same time, I don't have I don't have engagement in my videos. Like I don't have a lot of people commenting. You know, so. Um, that like also gave me the thought of okay well what's the point of putting, posting daily videos and another thing is was that I was just really like doing my research and thinking okay I really want to grow my channel I really want to reach my goal of, of this subscriber count um, don't worry about that back there <laughs> but you know I'm just I can't be making daily videos about weight loss, like literally, and if I can, they're not going to be as high quality or it's not going to be like consistent because at the moment, like I'm not drinking the apple cider vinegar, number one, and number two, I just like, I was just like overthinking everything and I was just like, like really, because YouTube algor algorithm is so complex and they want you to have a lot of watch time and and high quality videos but at the same time if you do post on a daily basis that does help your channel but if i'm only getting like 60 views a day like on a video about weight loss like this like an update but i would get like a hundred over 100 videos a day 100 video views a day on my apple cider vinegar videos then i was like okay well what's do like I'm about to curse right now because this person was about to go in front of me literally I was like so what's the point of me posting videos like this and I was like you know what Jordan there's gonna be like one or two people that appreciate you for uploading these videos that watch even if they don't comment or not because I was always the type of person that don't comment on my favorite youtuber videos either and you know and I still don't with some videos till this day so I was like, you know what, I'm just going to post regardless. I'm going to post a video regardless and stuff. Um, but I'm going on a rant. Let's see with job interviews. I went on a job interview yesterday in the city. It was a restaurant job interview. I was like very impressed with the pay and everything. It was for like a server slash greeter position. I was like, you know what, like I never worked in the city um, and I've always just ignored working in the city i like working in the suburbs better you know the traffic and the parking and and safety reasons and all of that stuff so i always considered working in the suburbs I was like you know what the manager basically emailed me on the same day that i submitted my application and he was like when are you available for you know he wants to meet me so i was like i was like this happened 
This happened on Wednesday. So I was like, Thursday, Thursday's fine. He was like, he gave me the hours that I can come to do an interview. And I was like, okay, see you then. I came. I applied online and then I I, I came well dressed. You see, I got a haircut and everything. And, um, you know, of course, I went to the greeter and I was like, hey, I'm here to see so and so. Then the, I was gonna say the bitch. <laughs> Well, the bitch told me to fill out an application because they needed all the, you know, because they needed one. I was like, well, I filled one online, so I had to fill out an application, and then I attached it with my resume, and I told her who I'm here to see with. So I ended up having a seat. I ended up being interviewed by someone who is not the person who I'm supposed to see with. So I went into that interview. I didn't like the guy's demeanor whatsoever. I don't know if his demeanor was like that because he was in the military. I don't know if it's because the place. Don't really have people that have beards because you know a lot of restaurants they don't want people to have you know beards and whatever because you know hair code all of that that's their policy so i answered all his questions and literally within like 10 minutes 10 probably not even 10 i would say yeah i would say like five to ten minutes i'll give him five the interview was over like, he gave me time to ask him. He asked me, like, three questions, I, and then I answered him. He asked me if I have any questions. I gave him questions. It was over, and he was like, of course, there is a second interview process. So he goes, he has to go over it with the managers and whatnot, and so they can determine that from there. So after the interview, I specifically emailed the manager that told me that he wanted to meet me, and I was very respectful. I sent the email saying, um, you know... I just left the interview like five minutes ago. It was, you know, a pleasure, uh, you know, going there, yada, 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 although I didn't get to meet you. And I never got a response. Like, I never got a response. But the thing is that fucking pissed me off was because I wasted my motherfucking time going to get a haircut. And then I wasted my motherfucking time going all the way to the city, wasting my fucking gas. And then at the same time, like, I got lost because I didn't know where it was. And I just wasted my time. Like, I feel like I wasted my time. You know, I hate when people say they're going to meet you. And then, especially when they say they're going to meet you and they don't meet you. At least have the common courtesy to email me back and tell me, state your reason why I didn't meet you. You know what I mean? So that fucking pissed me off. Like, I don't care if you are the second person I'm supposed to meet within an interview. The fact that you contacted me and told me verbatim that you are excited to meet me. You know, and you didn't fucking, like, meet me on the first day of the interview? Like, what the fuck? Like, what kind of shittery is that shit? Like, that just pissed me off. That literally pissed me off. And, like, I just hate, I hate job interviews. I fucking hate job interviews because, number one, I feel like with job interviews, I'm not myself. I'm not myself. I got to act like I'm some fucking corporate or some fucking political job description and I gotta like fucking like answer within the job description and be robotic and all that like that's why I just don't like I, I hate corporate America I really do and that's why I've always worked like fast food all my life because and I have a college degree like I, I do I have a college degree and I just I've done my research I went on the website you know and I've done everything and so on and so forth. And I really wanted to get this interview process going, but it really pissed me off. And really, like, about five minutes ago, I just called a job that offered me, um, you know, a job. But I kind of, like, it was for a different position, so I wasn't really interested. So the person just told me to call him back, like, if I changed my mind, which I did. Um... But now they're full and they're, you know, they've hired everybody. So, of course, I did apply for jobs today. But, y'all, I'm just mad. I'm just pissed off because, like, number one, I don't know. I'm pissed off because I woke up early so I can make sure I upload that video. And it didn't, like, do well as I expected it to be. Number two, the whole job interview process. Just the whole life process. And I'm not trying to be negative. I'm really trying to be positive. I'm not just the type of person to act like everything is all peaches and cream when it's not. You know, it's not peaches and cream. So, I'm just pissed off. That's all. I'm really pissed. I'm pissed off. And I just want the rent. You know, everything's going to be okay. Everything's going to be alright. You know. And 
Fridays don't mean shit to me anymore. Today's Friday, but it really doesn't. Like the whole meaning of Fridays really don't mean anything to me anymore, as it did when it, when I was in high school, when I was excited, that it was Friday. So, anyways, you know, it would good. It would be. I know, like, theoretically, I did start posting YouTube's videos a month ago. Like, although I've been posting my one minute, two minute clips, but theoretically it's been a month. So, the fact that, like, I sort of have to, like, restart over, but technically not. Because I still can get a lot of views depending on the topics I cover. But, y'all, like, it's just, it's horrible. Like, I'm just, I just want the rant. That's all. And this is probably going to be the rant of the video, the rant of the day. Like, I'm not going to show what I'm eating or nothing. This is the rant, and I'm sorry. That is a rant video. But anyways, I'll talk to y'all later. Not like I'm going to get comments anyway.